Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are doing all right. We are... We have a lot of money, and we have more money coming in with our commercial satellite, which is launching in four months. We are getting decent science for a few months more at least. And we are ready to progress to the next level of funding when we have the funding review in uh, seven months. So that is pretty darn cool. That is pretty darn cool. Sorry about that. That was a new subscriber. Yay me. All right. Prog Rocket. An audio recording made by your agency's recent Venusian impactor has been sampled by a popular prog rock band. What the hell is prog rock? Uh, following the success of the album, The Winds of Venus, the band has made a generous donation to the agency. Gained 250,000 funds. Okay, thank you. Thank you. China just completed Orbital EVA as the third. I mean, we did it in 1967. Uh... We're in 1970 now. That is insane. We did the multi crew orbit in June 1965, and China was four years after. So it was three years after. Man, we are doing well on the milestones, I'd say. And for the crewed landing, no one even has the science for it yet. And uh, and we 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 did it. That's old news now. That's old news now. Next month. Moon photo dominates papers. A, phot a photograph of astronaut Noel Legrand standing beside your agency's flag on the moon has seen widespread media coverage with many newspapers already describing the image as iconic. Gained 400 support. Not bad. All right. Space welding payload is complete. Okay. Only vehicles booster... Only vehicle boosters reliability comes towards launch reliability. That kind of sucks. And the payload reliability kind of sucks too. Well, we can use the light inner planets. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Actually, let's take a quick look. So that's the Delta K, the Aquina. Costs less and can do it too. So we can do it cheaper. And then we can actually add an upgrade to make it even cheaper. So it costs less than a million now with the Atlas and the Agena. And it's pretty reliable. Let's confirm that. Build vehicle. Go to solar system. All right. Uh, our Mars orbit research is complete next month. So is the Mariner 1. Uh, Soviet Union requests data. Following the su success of your crewed moon landing mission, Soviet Union have requested that your agency shares the scientific data obtained during the mission. Soviet Union res representatives have stated that the gesture would greatly improve relations between our two great agencies. I am not going to be friendly with the Soviet Union, no. Mars orbit research. Completed. Nice. All right, Mars flyby payload is ready with plus 5% payload reliability. We like that. Uh, can we reuse at a sign? Yeah, we can. Uh, we can reuse that. But we don't need that much. Um, do we have another? We could really do with the Centaur C, which only takes 800 kilos. But it also costs like 400,000 left. We should research that soon. Let's select the Aquina instead. And uh, 
531,000. That only costs 340,000. And is more expensive or more uh, reliable. So let's do that. So Atlas and Agena again. And we'll again reduce the cost of building it. And for these, I think we'll just use our own, do it ourselves, build vehicle, five months. So next month we're launching the commercial satellite. Then in four months we are done with the constitution or the space welding and we have funding review and then we have the light uh, the um, Mars flyby all right so that's those two done then we can do the payload Vesta for the Mars lander commercial satellite October 1970 ready for launch 98% payload reliability, 81% launch reliability. That seems pretty good to me. The weather sucks though. Bad conditions. We're going anyway. Only 70, so only 7% risk of blowing up. Knock on wood. Come on, don't, 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 don't. Go, commercial satellite, go! You can do it! You can do it! You can do it! Yes, you can do it. Of course you can do it. I had no doubt. Complete faith was what I had. Alright, secure launch. Very nice. Delta K, K gets a little bit more reliable. I should really remember to check that because I don't think we needed to use the Delta K. I think we could have used the Athena instead. Okay, collect 10 nav. So that's 20 nav. And that's it. We have three turns to do it, four actions per turn. So how about we do this? Where is their good nav? Two nav, two nav, two nav, four nav. Okay. Now what we could do is do three orbital realigns. That gives us six and three. Let's do that. Look at that chance of success. 2% risk of failure. Very nice. That is what I call a stable payload. Or a reliable payload. Wonderful. Wow, 4%. Four, four it's good that it's so reliable. Okay. So that's that. Then we can do this twice. That takes us up to 14. And then recharge a power. And recharge another power. Yeah. All right, all good. Perfect bonus. That gives us an extra. That takes us to 15 then. So we have four power now. So we can do that. And we can do that. And that wins it for us. And we can even recharge twice. So that was a pretty easy one. Alright. And there we go. Task complete. Achieve Earth orbit. Alright. Deploy satellite systems. We have drift to deal with here okay eight and eight we need to collect so that the reward before was 25 percent this one is 50 percent so that's 75 percent bonus reward okay 
Okay. So what are we doing here? Let's do a ping of the location, then an infrared mapping, an orbital realignment, and a ground control connection. That gives us three and zero, but we have four nav, which we can use for infrared mapping. That seems pretty good. All right, pinging the location went well. Infrared mapping was very infrared. Gave us an extra nav. Okay. Now this means that we can do this and get six data. We have this turn and one more remaining. What if we did a data transmission and then a visual spectrum sampling. That would take us to seven and eight. Then we just need to use a power to get the last comms. And we are within our bounds here. Okay, an extra nav. Wonderful. And the visual spectrum sampling is good as well. Accept. Now we just need to use a power and then we can actually do this. Just recharge try three times. We are getting our reward. So yeah, easy peasy. All right. Yeah, baby. 75% bonus reward. That is nice. And we're first to do it, which is also nice, because that means that we get the three months to build vehicles. And we get, whoa, 5.25 million. That is nice. Look at our funds. We almost have 10 million. We're not getting any science at the moment, though. Which kind of sucks balls, because we wanted to do the vehicle science, because they're half price now. Uh, wait, cancel. So this would cost 600, 600, 450. So we can get one of these done. We've done the Delta IV booster. Mm. This only has a capacity of 9,000. This has a capacity of 15,000. But this only costs 450, this costs 600. And so that'll be 1200 and 900. So that's 300 difference in science. So we're only getting 450 discount on the Centaur D and we are getting 600 discount on the Athena. We're doing the Athena. Change research. Uh, how big is this payload for the Mars lander? 3,500 kilos, so that's nothing. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's continue on. Uh, new request mission available on Earth. 
maneuvering evaluation. Half the chance of negative event during launch. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Now, our next goal is we're going to research the payload Vesta. And then we're going to research the Skylab. Oh, am I screwing up here? Am I screwing up here? Um, space station? No one has the research. Okay. Mars lander? No one has the research. Okay, so I'm not screwing up yet. China completed commercial satellite second. Haha, <laughs> China. And let's go one more month, then the Constitution will be complete. Oh, wait, I have an active mission slot. Uh, we're going back to Mars for a lot of science. A lot of science. We'll be second, but we'll do it. And we'll give it some extra power. It'll increase the build cost a bit, but I'm okay with that. And next month, budget review, and we are well past 5,000 we made, the 5,000 5, support we gained last month, or last year, nice, and we are actually pretty close to getting to the next tier as well. Athena research complete, and our space welding vehicle is complete. Launch reliability is good. Maximum mission training bonus increased by 100%. Nice. Nice. We want three crew. Um, wait. Oh, I can't do that without assigning crew. Scientist is definitely going. Then we'll do an electrician and a celebrity, I think. For the support. Do we... Ah, damn it. Confirm. We can do science training. Do we get any support for this? It doesn't look like it, does it? Um, space welding. Yeah, we do gain support, so 10% extra support is nice. That's not where I want it to go. I want it to go here. So, but we'll do the science training, of course, and then we'll launch in May, I think, get another 20% science. Uh, so, we still only gain five per month, so it doesn't really matter that much with that. Uh, maximum training, mission training bonus. Confirm. Four months, that is going up. Mariner 8 is complete in 3. The um, Mars guy here, the um, Mars flyby, is ready to go. Uh, is complete next month. Alright, research. We should also do some buildings. I would like to do the robotics research lab. Minus 20% costs on mission research tree. Costs 5,000 search though this cost 7,000 how much does this cost space station five and a half well we're, we'll keep going with Vesta all right Mars flyby vehicle is complete increased frequency of suboptimal launch windows but the penalty for them is halved so that's something I guess and the training will definitely be science. And the launch date will be next month because everything is suboptimal or even impossible. Wow, the rest of the year is impossible. So we're going tomorrow. Yeah, next month, confirm. Go to solar system and next month. And Myers flyby is ready for launch. 67% launch reliability. Mm. 
75% payload reliability. And it's raining. Bad conditions. All right, we have a 10% risk of going boom. Don't go boom. You're a beautiful rocket, and I have complete and utter faith in you. You can do it. No, I can't. It's gonna go boom. It's going boom. It's definitely going boom. God damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, Agina did get some experience, so... Damn it. Mm. Our flyby, plan mission. Select that payload, build it. Damn it! Alright, on Earth... We needed that science, man. Endurance test. Oh, that is quite nice science. Okay. And there was something. Japan is launching Mars orbit in 17 months. But we're already planning it, right? Yeah. Completes in three months. We might be able to beat them next month. Mars orbit payload complete. Alright, we are not going to be using level zero vehicle parts, so that doesn't matter. It's only a payload of 2200. So we can use. That costs 850,000 only. But it's a level zero part, and we have the uh, launch reliability penalty for level zero parts. Let's select it and see. Well, the only thing that can lift that is the Saturn V, which costs a fortune. No, this thing can do it too. But we don't have the research for it. All right. Oh, it needs. Oh, it just needs two boosters. So how, how much did that cost? No, we, we don't have the parts for it. All right. In that case, it'll be you, the Agina, again, and the Atlas. That's more than capable of doing it. We can upgrade it with composite casing to make it cheaper. 79% launch reliability, 80% payload reliability. All right. Build it. Now, why is there an exclamation mark here? I'm not sure. Okay, man, that sucked that we blew up there. All right, space welding is up next. Ready to launch. 45% payload reliability. That kind of blows. But it's a lot of science. And the launch reliability is good. And it's a beautiful day for it. Okay, the Constitution. I think they make some pretty good names for the rockets. All right, We're in good conditions. We have a three percent risk of critical failure, eight of uh, a negative effect. Let's go, Constitution. Let's go. That launch looked better than the other one. 
And this is a crewed mission, so we really don't want it to blow up. And it didn't. Okay, and we are almost a positive effect. That's a shame we didn't just get there. And then Gina gets some more experience. More reliability. All right, space welding. We need to deal with drift. We need to get 10 and 20. We have four turns to do it. And only three actions? Wow. That is harsh. That is harsh. We're going to do that and that. That gives us five and two and two. And then we can do this. The ground control connection will give us seven and four. Okay. Confirm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Critical success right off the bat. Gives us an extra data. And that was good as well. And ooh, that was also good. Just. Okay, so that's seven and four. We're going to do a conducting experiments here, and then we're going to do a signal return test. Which will allow us to do... actually, you know what? This is going to be power expensive, but I think it has to be done like that. Confirm. Assist it. It is supposed to fail half the time, so... Oh, thank God. All right, we have two turns remaining. We need to recharge. So if we recharge and recharge and do a flyover course adjustment, that gives us six and 16. Then we can do... Manual data collection, that'll give us the comms. Uh, so, this thing puts us one up. The only way to get it back down is to do that. And then we can recharge once. That gives us our comms. Then... How do we get 5 nab next turn? I suppose a flyover course adjustment. And a ping location. But the flyover course adjustment will push us out of whack, won't it? Because we're doing a flyover course adjustment here. A flyover course adjustment. Data transmission. And power. We're going to have to do it like that. I don't see any other way 
And we don't need that. We really, really don't need that. Resist it. Ooh, an extra comms. That might actually help us. Does it help us? It does. We don't have any power, though. We don't have any power. So we're gonna have to do this. And then we need one more. And we can't get one more. Because we don't have a data for it. And we don't have a power for it. So we're not gonna get that 15% bonus reward. It's just not happening. What if we... What if we spent this here? Then we could do... That. No, we can't. We can do that. That doesn't give it to us either. Unless we get a critical success. So we're going to do this and this. Uh, this and this. And this, which allows us to recharge. Or allows us to assist once. It's the only thing I can do. It's the only thing I can do. We're not going to get it. Because we're of course not getting that critical success. Assist. Nope. Alright, conduct mission EVAs. 4, 8, and some drift. This is another 15% bonus reward. Okay, the only way to pull back is by conducting experiments. And these three all give us drift. We need 8 and 16. So if we do that, that pulls us out of whack. And then we can do that. It gives us four and three. First one succeeded. Second one succeeded. And the third one failed. Persist. Right, because now... I can do this twice. And then do this. So that gives us 10 and 6. Alright, confirm. Alright, another failure, of course. And another failure. These unstable, un unreliable payloads suck, man. They really, really suck. Okay, we're gonna have to do this. And then we can do that. Wait. If we do that, we only have two turns left. Then we can do this once.
and twice. That'll mean that we can do this one time. That puts us to 12. And we can do that twice, which puts us over the top. Assist. Okay, that one worked, and that one needs to be resisted as well. Uh, output will these commands output will be increased by one drift. Okay, so it's drifting one extra over here, but I think I'm okay with that. Except, so oh, it drifted over there, but that's okay because I need to do this. And then I can do that. I need one more, one more data, which I can get by doing this, by doing the infrared mapping. And that gets us to the 15% bonus. And we have power to resist three times if something goes wrong. Perfect. Ooh, critical failure. Nice. That does it. Didn't even need the last one. All right, perform a controlled re-entry. Entry. Seven, five, and we need to deal with heat. Okay. Two to four heat a turn. And up here we can do two heat burns or bleeding, bleeding and here we can do one. If we do that, we need two and five. And then we can do that to get the heat down some. Yeah. All right, first one went well. Second one went to hell. Resist it. And the signal returns that went well. All right. And we're up to four heat again. So I think we're going to do one, two, three. That gets us to eight and six and down to one heat. So three orbital realignments. Accept that. Ooh, nice. Accept that. And what does this do? Output will be reduced by a comms. I don't want to reduce it my comms. So, all right, we're up to three heat. So we can do one, two. That gives us 10 and 10. We have two turns remaining. So if we do that, then we're actually there. 14 and 10. And we can resist everything. And that gives us 35% bonus. So that's a total of 50% bonus that we get. And I think that's a pretty good deal. It's a shame that we messed up the first uh, task, but it is what it is. All right, 30%, 5% bonus award, and we are heading home. Okay, Gemini coming in for a landing, or a splashdown, I guess it is really. So uh, I will be cutting cu uh, cutscenes, uh, uh, skipping them, but the launch and the splashdown, I won't be skipping for sure, because, uh, well, the... Uh, Splashdown is cool, and the launch is the exciting bit, right? Will we get up there? All right. 
782 support and 886 science for five months and horizontal integration. All right, they need to recuperate. And we have a mission shot, mission shot, mission slot. Uh, when is Vesta done in a while? What do we have on the moon? Moon micrometeorites when we have more than 9 million. Don't really need to do lucrative missions right now. We have an endurance test here, and I think we'll do that because look at that science. And decent support as well. Wow, the payload reliability. Why is it so unreliable? Oh, it's an experimental payload, that's why. 45%, man. Well, it is what it is. Build it. Well, next time we'll be doing both a Mars flyby and a Mars orbit. Not necessarily in that order, because the flyby, the orbit will be done before the flyby is done. I'm guessing, so um, yeah. Yeah. But it's nice we have all this, all these funds. That is really, really good. That is really, really good. That gives us uh, a lot of stability in what we can do. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.